C.S. Lewis once said that God whispers during times of pleasure, but He shouts at us during times of pain. And I want to tell you, He's got our attention, doesn't He? We live in unprecedented times. Nothing like I've ever experienced in my life, and I've seen a lot of ups and downs in culture and uh, financial crises and other pandemics uh, it's, and, and other things that have gone on. This is, there's nothing like this, and we all understand that. And in these kinds of uncertain times, it's real easy, if we're not careful, to get our eyes on our circumstances and begin to worry and to begin to be anxious and to begin to, to think that things are spinning out of control and, and that uh, life is, is, is falling apart. Because some of, for some of us, we feel that way, don't we? With perhaps economic uh, problems in our life, perhaps we're thinking about uh, whether we may even have a job in, in a few weeks when we go back to work, or, or perhaps some of us have already been laid off, and we're not sure about the future. We're not sure about our health. We're not sure about the health of those that we love the most. And so there are a lot of concerns. The Apostle Paul also understood this. He's writing in a little book in the New Testament called Philippians. He's writing to a group of believers at a time where he was also in prison. He didn't know what his future looked like. In fact, it's pretty clear as you read through the book of Philippians that Paul anticipated that something eventful might happen in his own life. He wasn't sure if he was going to live or die. So there literally was this uncertainty of whether even he would even survive his imprisonment. And in the midst of that uncertainty, in the midst of that, that potential anxiety, he writes these very comforting words. These are life verses for me. Some of the first verses I ever memorized. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. You got to memorize these verses. They'll bring great comfort to you. Paul says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And then notice what he says in verse 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. What a wonderful promise. Paul tells us that in the midst of our anxieties, in the midst of our concerns, that we can trust God. You see, I, I often define worry as when our circumstances become bigger than the God that we profess to love, when those circumstances become bigger than God in our minds, then we worry about things. But Paul says God's bigger than that. He says, don't worry, don't be anxious, but instead pray. Bring your concerns to God. And here's the promise. The peace of God that literally is beyond our wildest imagination will guard our hearts, almost as a sentry, as a military term here, will stand guard of our hearts and keep us from undue concerns if we'll just entrust those concerns to Him. So this morning, there are a couple of takeaways I want you to, to consider as we think about what Paul says here. First of all, turn your cares and your anxieties over to Him. Give those concerns to Him, whether it's economic, whether it's a health concern. Entrust those cares to God. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Peter writes and says, Cast your cares upon Him. Why? Because He cares about you. So do that this morning. Trust your concerns to Him, whatever those might be. And then expect, secondly, expect the peace of God. God promises that if we want peace, it's not a kind of peace the world gives. It's a peace that resides in our hearts that is truly supernatural. God promises if we will turn our cares over to Him, He will give us a peace that is beyond our ability to understand it. Would you trust your, entrust your concerns today to a God who loves you and cares about you and wants to minister to you, whatever your circumstances are?